Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Welcome to the Hidden Gems series. Okay, so we're looking at left backs today and we're looking at left backs that are going to cost you less than £20 million at the start of the game. Now do me a favour before we start, hit the like button. Do me a favour and subscribe if you're new as well. Um, without further ado, we'll get on into our list. So we've got a list here of left backs, like I say or cost you under 20 million pounds at the start of the game um we think they're the best ones you can achieve for that kind of money so head on if you want to see the best young left backs in the game check out the playlists we got we've got that video up for you as well okay so first on the list today we've got this guy luca pellegrini okay pellegrini at the start of the game he'll cost you around let's have a look here how much do we put pellegrini up for just under 20 million pounds so pellegrini if we have a look at his stats here you can see he's quite good mentally actually so he's got aggression aggression in the tackles as well as determination which is a stat we love at this channel he's got work rate and he's got acceleration natural fitness good tackler he's got the first touch and he's good crossing as well 14 crossings quite good for your left back like i say just under 20 million start of the game so one of the more expensive ones we've got on our list today next up Jay De Silva playing for Bristol City at the start of the game pick him up for a little bit less at the start of the game I think 15 million it's English which is always good so a good young 15 million pound English left back what could go wrong okay it's very similar to the last guy apart from well, I say very similar not at all Last guy had 17 aggression, this guy's got five. But he's faster, he's got slightly more acceleration. He's good off the ball, and he's a flair player as well. So you maybe even look at playing him left wing. Um, he's got anticipation, which we like in our fullbacks. Um, and he's got technique as well. He's quite a technical left back, good stamina, so he can get up and down the pitch. Again, he's only like 19, or he's actually 21, sorry, at the start of the game. So he's got room to develop as well. If you have a look at his history here, we'll delve a little deeper into Jay De Silva. So you're playing for Bristol City. He goes up to Sheffield United here in this safe for a 10 million part exchange. Knocking on the door of sevens, but he's averaging 6.8, 6.9. Goes to Galatasaray then for seven million. So that's Jay De Silva. Next, another English guy, Luke. Thomas, rated slightly higher by our scouts. Here he is. Luke Thomas at the start of the game will cost you a lot less, about a million pounds playing for Leicester. Okay. So again, a little bit lower. A little bit lower than Jade Silva. He's got some good leadership, good concentration. His physical is really good as well. So he's got acceleration, agility, pace. So that's Luke Thomas. Keep a look out for him. Next up, Alice Cantalere. Okay, this guy here. He's playing for Bristol City here as well. Um, show us your Bristol Cities. This guy here, Cantalere, start of the game, about 8 million quid. Um, quite solid here, actually. You can see a lot of tens like that. Crossing. First touch. Again, quite a technical player, but he's got all that physical attributes as well to get up and down the pitch. So Cantalis is one of our picks uh, for our hidden gems this week. Off the ball vision, composure. How did he end up at Bristol City then? Let's dive a little bit deeper into his history here. So playing for Valencia B, goes out on loan. Malaga, back to Valencia. As a season with Valencia, then doesn't play much, then Bristol City buy him for 11 million. So that's Cantalaris, one of our picks. Next, Nuno Tavares. So you can pick him up for less again at the start of the game, so 1.6 million. Again, very good physically. You want your fullbacks to be good physically, though. You want them to be fast, you want them to have stamina. Can tackle, which is great. Good at passing, so if you're a possession-based team, this guy is going to be good for you. 
because he's composed as well. Concentration, very good. Nuno Tavares. Let's have a little dive into Nuno Tavares's history. Benfica goes out on loan to Leicester. Back to Benfica, popping up with some sevens there. Average performances, very good. And Wolves buy him for thirty-two million. That's Nuno Tavares. Very solid looking guy. Next, Josh Timon. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Josh. Sorry, buddy. Um, 29 years old here at the start of the game. Josh is 20. Um, if you played the last game, I think it was the last football manager or maybe the one before, Josh is very highly rated left back playing for Stoke. He's still playing for Stoke in this game, um, but he's out on a loan, I think, to some Turkish team. Again, pretty solid physically. But what Josh has that the other guys maybe didn't have is a lot better mental. Tackling, marking, passing, long throws, again, similar, but also crossing 14. So Josh is someone who's going to cost you a little bit more. He's got a little bit more pedigree, but again, he's only 20. Um, the player's out on loan. It's about 16 million you pick him up, but again, he's out on loan, which is a bit unfortunate, so you won't be able to get him straight away. Jake Vokins then, another English guy. Some good young English left backs in the game here. You can get for relatively cheap. Seven million quid. Josh, seven million quid. Um, playing for Southampton at the start of the game there. Dribbling. Concentration. Very good for a defender. And stamina is uh, crucial for your full backs, especially if they're attacking. It's got acceleration and pace as well. Very good there from Wilkins. Let's have a look see if he's been playing many games. He hasn't played a lot, so you could probably develop him a little bit better than that as well. Boshing in some good performances there for West Brom. Moving up then. Ivan Araguaya Equigara. This guy. Um, this guy, you pick him up for about 4 million at the start of the game. Pace and stamina. Great agility, fantastic. Positioning, a key defensive attribute, determination we always like. Crossing, very good for a full back, marking then as well. Playing Ajax here, if we level it a look into his history. So he's come from South America. Porto then bought him for 16.5 million. Goes out on loan, then he goes to Ajax for 20 million. Again, if you pick him up at the start of the game for four million pounds, that's four million at the start of the game. He's a great um, investment. Highest rating then from our scout, or highest potential rating, Mikel Lo Curto. Okay, Mikel is our pick. Mikel is our hidden gem. Left back. Get this, you wrap your head around this price 350,000. 350,000 pounds at the start of the game. Smashing the physicals, doing okay with the mentals as well. And oh, he's got the long throws. Just what we want. Okay, 350,000 can't go wrong. Even if you bring him in as a backup left back, you'll be happy with that. He's got all the key stats that you need, really. He's got everything covered, okay? So don't forget to smash a like on the video, guys. That's it for today. Next up, center backs, hidden gems. Head on over to Patreon if you really want to support the channel. And thank you very much for watching.